Walk into a room in most major hotel chains and you might forget whether you're in Milwaukee or Miami. They often look pretty much the same. That's great for people who don't want any surprises. But nowadays, say experts, things are changing. The one-size-fits-all formula doesn't work in a world where we have so many different groups of people who have so many different interests in terms of where they live, work, shop, spend the night when they travel, etc. And young people, the millennial generation, the largest generation in American history, they say that authenticity and interesting is more important than predictability and comfortable when it comes to staying in a hotel. Like the independent hotel Holiday Jones, located in the Wicker Park neighborhood of Chicago. This once tenement building was converted into what they call a unique boutique hostel with 34 small private rooms and a large shared space for people to gather so visitors feel like they're in an apartment more than a hotel. One of the neat aspects of our place is that we're able to really give you the local feel of the town. Everything that's in our place here has been designed and built by local people. We just try to let you really experience like the feel of like what this town is that you wouldn't get in a, in a big chain or a different sort of place. Lexington, Virginia is steeped in Civil War history. Many people travel here to see where famous battles were fought and to visit the Lee Chapel, the final resting place for General Robert E. Lee. And for travelers who look to immerse themselves in their surroundings, authenticity is found in a place like this, the Hampton Inn Col Alto, a mansion built in 1827 by a former Virginia governor. As soon as you step on the property, you know you're in a different place, a unique place. I, I can't tell you the number of times that people have come through the doors and said, are we in the right place? Is this a Hampton Inn? I can't believe this is a Hampton Inn. And it's because when you go through the door, you're stepping almost back in time. In the historic part, we have uh, our, our registry area, the dining room where we serve breakfast, and there's also 10 guest rooms that we have decorated in period decor. Each of those guest rooms is designed to honor an historic figure who once stayed at the manor, like Stonewall Jackson or General George C. Marshall. 76 other guest rooms were built on to the mansion to mimic its style. The appeal and the demand are kind of one and the same, preserving history. One of the more unique adaptive reuse hotels is the former St. Charles Street Jail, built in Boston in 1851, which is now Starwood's Liberty Hotel. This was all jail cells along here, and there are rooms that are in the jail. Um, the majority of the guest rooms are built in a new tower that's um, a connector to the, from the historic structure into a new tower, but there are 18 rooms in the jail. Alibi is our bar, and it used to be the drunk tank for the jail. So if you were drunk and disorderly in public, then that's where you were thrown in to kind of, you know, sober up. Um, Scampo, which actually means to escape, um, is um, our Italian restaurant, but actually used to be the sheriff's um, ward, and part of it used to be where they would um, bring in the inmates. And bringing people in is what these reimagined hotels hope to do. Holly Furfer, CNN.